Hello viewers, welcome to this new video lecture series. This series is on experiments of computer network lab. So before starting uh, discussing the different lab experiments in this computer network lab, let me first start with topics that is that are related in the for the computer network lab. For example, like for any experiment to carry out in the computer network, we require certain components. So that is what the my first topic that is the introduction for this uh, video lecture series uh, is on compute components of a computer network. So in the introductory part, I shall start with the components of a computer network. So which are the different components of a computer network? So I am just classifying here the different components of a computer network into three. The first one is nodes, the second one is the transmission media and the third one is services. Which components in the network we call it as nodes. For we can classify these nodes into two different types. One can be the end nodes and the other can be the intermediate nodes. So in previous, uh, like you know that in a network topology, whenever suppose if I take a very simple setup also in the computer network, I so if there is a PC here, okay, it is, it is in one network and it is sending a packet to another host, okay, to another host which is there in the other network. So these two devices here or these two PCs here, PC1, PC2, we call it as what end nodes and the device that is connecting these two network because this is the device that is forwarding the data from PC1 to PC2 of another network. So this device becomes what the intermediate nodes. So this is just a very very simple example. Now here it is not that PCs will always be the end nodes and you should also know what, what exactly is the functioning of the end node. In every network we have end nodes. The nodes that are sending the data and the nodes that are receiving the data or accepting the data. Those nodes becomes the end nodes. Now, which are which are the different end nodes? See, end nodes can be. It's not that always PCs will be the end nodes. You can list. I'll list out few of these uh, end nodes. Definitely, you will agree. For PCs, laptop, printers, then uh, phones. That is mobile phones, tablets, then personal digital assistants. Then we can also include uh, cameras. So like this, those devices which are either sending the data or accepting the data become the end devices in the network. Now let us see what can be the different intermediate nodes. So in computer networks, we have the following intermediate nodes included in the network. One, the very first example I can tell it as hub, then repeater, then I can include uh, the bridge, switch router, firewall, wireless access point, gateway, then uh, I can include even the yes, cell phone towers, even the NIC that is the network interface card can be included in this list. So these can be the different intermediate nodes in the network. So the nodes which are forwarding the data from the sender towards the receiver side becomes the intermediate nodes. Next component, okay, the, this uh, end nodes and the intermediate nodes are what are the two different types of nodes. Next second type of component can be the transmission media. So without the transmission medium, we cannot send the data nor we can receive the data. Suppose if you have one particular node here, the other that is the destination node here, unless you connect these two nodes, okay, only then it is possible for you to send the data or receive, receive the data. That is a medium is required here. This medium is, this is what, this can be a wired medium or it can be the wireless medium. Without wired and wireless medium, you cannot send the data or receive the data. This wired medium, hope you people are getting, see, unless you connect these two nodes with the cable, only then it is possible for the data to be what transmitted from the sender side to the receiver side. Now, this transmission medium can be of two types. First one will be the wired medium and the second one can be the wireless medium. Now, in wired medium, we have different types of cables. Let us see first the wired medium, the different types of cables here. We have here the Ethernet cable, fiber optic cable coaxial cable, 
USB cable. So these are the, and once again, if Ethernet cable can be further of two types, straight, straight through cable, crossover cable. Okay. See, whatever I am giving here in the introduction of this particular series, I am just mentioning here the different components or listing out the different components of a computer network. In detail, I shall be explaining in my upcoming videos. So, in the wired medium, what exactly is happening is the data is getting converted into signals. Data is getting converted into signals that is mainly electrical signals. Now, what about wireless medium? See, in, so in wireless medium, the data is carried by air. Here, the data gets converted into waves. Now, which are the different types of waves in the wireless medium? One, the very first one can be infrared wave. Infrared waves. Then you have the radio waves, microwaves, and satellite. So these are the different types of media that are used in the wireless category infrared radio microwave and satellite the wireless medium which are mentioned here can be used for the very short distances communication medium long distance communications and the long distance communications so these details i shall be explaining in my upcoming video lectures presently you may just try to see that these are the different types of wireless media third important component of a computer network and that is services in any network there are devices that are sending and receiving the data there are devices that are forwarding the data there are devices that are providing the services in this manner also you can remember the different components of a computer now in the services if you see that now in the network like we require certain services for example if you want to uh, send a email or receive a email definitely we are expecting it from what the email server so this is one of the services then if you are using a particular website to fetch data or if you are using any of the uh, apps like amazon flipkart or whatever it is so that kind of services are provided by ww world wide web then you are using whatsapp so that is called as instant messaging if you want to carry out remote login so you can use the server that is the telnet services the mapping of the host name or the domain name with the ip address so dns server or dns services file transfer services that is the ft service ftp services can be used here to share the different files in the computer network here i have listed out few services email services worldwide web instant messaging telnet dns ftp like this you can add few more services to this list so that is um, that is all about what the different services in the computer network so suppose if i have to show you with one particular uh, network diagram i can use in this manner let us take one network to which are connected the different so i can make use of pcs i can make use of the mobile phone here fine then in the network i can make use of a printer that is connected so this network is what connected with other networks so at the other end of the network you can see the other devices connected like suppose i can include here a server fine so like this you can include some more devices like uh, smartphone mobile phone or the cell tower here you can see in this diagram a cell phone tower connected to this router and what is the medium used here it is a wireless medium In this particular diagram i have shown you the different devices connected in the network one side of the network i have shown the different uh, types of uh, end devices it can be a printer it can be a mobile phone pc or laptop so and the other side i have shown shown in the network you can connect a server pc like this and in between also the routers are connected with a cell phone tower using the wireless medium so wired and wireless medium so basically this diagram consists of what the different components of the end devices end devices now suppose if this pc wants to communicate with this particular pc of the other network so these two becomes the end devices and if you look here this router 
this router this switch and this switch they become what they become the intermediate devices because these are the devices that are forwarding the data from this pc to this pc and if you want any services you have to use that particular server here in order to get the services so this is just an introduction video for the computer network slab basically i wanted you people to get the introduction of the devices that are used in the experiment so in detail i shall be explaining in my video session so all these media devices and moreover one more thing i wanted to tell you in this video the intermediate nodes okay i'll have the complete a separate video on all these intermediate nodes whichever i have mentioned here okay for all these types of intermediate devices i shall be explaining you the uh, complete details of these intermediate nodes as well the services the end nodes the cables wired wireless for each of this topic i shall make a video and try to give the complete information about that particular topic but this one is an introductory for what introductory session for the computer networks lab let me start with first the intermediate nodes here so in my next video session i shall be explaining you about the hub so whatever topics i have mentioned here or i mean to say whatever components are mentioned here in this particular session i shall try to cover to the maximum these components in my future video session so hope you find this video session useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care